Watch the biggest tunneling mega projects in China. Yes, you heard it right. In today's video, you will see some of the most hard to believe tunneling mega projects in China that even surpass America. The tunneling mega projects you are about to witness in here are just the result of China's expertise in super engineering works. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for you to always be updated with our new videos. In today's video, you will see some of the most hard to believe tunneling mega projects in China. And without wasting any more of your time, here we go. Number 1 is Tunnel Construction on High Speed Railway to China Vietnam Border. The last tunnel was drilled on a high-speed railway in Guangxi, linking cities of Fangchenggang and Dongqing. The 46.9km railway will reach China-Vietnam border. Currently, more than 79% of construction works has been completed on the railway. Trains on the line will run at up to 200km per hour. Travel time between the two cities will be cut from 90 to 20 minutes. The line will boost trade and exchanges between China and Southeast Asian countries. Number 2 is World's First Cross-Sea Tunnel for 350 km per hour railway. China has started construction on the world's first single-hole, double-track high-speed railway, Sea Tunnel, designed to allow trains to travel at a speed of up to 350 km per hour in Shantou Bay, South China's Guangdong Province. The 163-kilometer-long railway, which includes a 9,781-meter-long tunnel, has officially entered the substantive construction stage with an investment estimated to be at 26 billion yuan or equivalent to 3.7 billion US dollars. Number 3 is the Qing High Speed Railway Tunnel in South China drilled through. The 6.61-kilometer-long Deqing Tunnel, a critical project in the construction of the Guiyang Nanning High-Speed Railway in Hechi, South China's Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region, was drilled through. Its construction met many difficulties due to the area's complicated geography and landform. A new blasting method in tunnel excavation was used in the project. It causes less broken stones than the traditional method effectively ensuring the stability of rock around a tunnel. The Guiyang Nanning High-Speed Railway is expected to be put into operation by the end of 2023. Number 4 is China's first tunnel across Yellow River under construction. The first tunnel crossing the Yellow River in eastern China's Shandong province has the country's widest 15.76 meter diameter and will save the travel time from 1 hour to 4 minutes. The tunnel is beneath a hanging river as the riverbed of this section of the Yellow River is 5 meters above downtown Jinan. Number 5 is Tunnel Along China Laos Railway Board Through.
The Mengla Tunnel along the railway connecting China and Laos has been drilled through. The tunnel is 13,000 meters long and built despite geological difficulties. The China-Laos railway is more than 1,000 kilometers long, linking Yunnan's Kunming and Laos Vientiane. It is expected to open by the end of 2021, cutting travel time between the two cities to half a day. Number 6 is Chinese built underwater tunnel drill through in Bangladesh. Bangladesh's first underwater tunnel was drilled through in Chattogram City, some 242 kilometers southeast of capital Dhaka. Upon its completion, the 9.3 kilometer long Bangabandhu Sheikh Mojibur Raman Tunnel project will link the east and west bank of the Karnafuli River. The project has been contracted by China Communication Construction Company Limited and constructed by China Road and Bridge Corporation. China developed shield tunneling machine has been used to assist with the river tunneling project. The 2450 meter long underwater shield tunnel has two vehicle lanes in both directions with a design speed of 80 km per hour. Number 7 is Tunnel on China Laos Railway completed. The Jinghua No. 2 tunnel, which stretches for about 4.6 kilometers on the Kunming Vientian railway linking China with Laos, was completed. The tunnel of the Kunming Wanzhou railway on the Chinese side will be opened simultaneously with the Bolton Vientiane section in Laos by the end of 2021. And the 1000 km cross border railway will slash the travel time between the two countries to half a day. And that concludes this video for today. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.